it seems to me that on one level, we're both in the entertainment business. Millions of people from a very young age dream of being part of this world. Well, of course, the reality is that only a small percentage of people get to make a living from it. And because of th those things, whether you're an athlete or a director, screenwriter, producer, actor, whatever, inevitably you face despair. And despair is, by definition, a lack of faith. I'm wondering, in your own career, um, if you could talk about when you personally faced despair. You're so right. From a young age, so many of us dream of participating in sports or, or film and television. Um, it doesn't necessarily require a lot of education. Mm -hmm. It does require training, uh, but uh, there's a saying in sports that you're only as good as your last game. <laughs> and there's a saying, you're only as good as your last film. It's your last film. So no matter how good it was or wasn't, there's still a burning desire to prove mm -hmm. yourself. And uh, I faced despair many times. I, I, I like to think whatever success I've had, it was because of my failures mm -hmm. that uh, continued to motivate me to, 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 to try harder, to try smarter. Behind the star system in whatever enterprise you're talking about is the idea of a persona. Marilyn Monroe very self-consciously developed the persona of Marilyn. And she used to walk down the streets of, of New York and she would say to uh, Paula Strasberg, her, the daughter of her acting coach, uh, let's do Marilyn. Hmm. And she's walking down Broadway and nobody's recognizing her. And then suddenly she puts on that magnificent jello-like sashaying of the hips. Mm -hmm. uh, and suddenly, thousands of people would swarm around her. You know, you do something that captures a sports writer or a broadcaster's imagination, and you do it over and over and over. And that, in my mind, seems to be the birth of a persona. And then, if you like your persona, even if you don't like it, if it works, mm -hmm you begin to play to it and develop that persona. So, so many people are so fascinated with what's, what's he or she really like. Well, we all put our pants on one leg at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we all, we're all human beings, you know. Yeah. And, and yet, uh, people do get so caught up in it. And I get caught up in it myself, you know. In your most recent book, Letters to Young Filmmakers, is there one overriding lesson, theme, focus that you want to impart? Nothing lasts, good or bad. It helps ground you if you recognize that in your deepest moments of despair, this will not last. You talk a lot about despair. Yeah. Yeah. How does that flow into all? You have to have faith in yourself to want to create anything. I would assume that's true for any athlete. Yes, you have to have faith to get out of bed in the morning. Absolutely. Well. And you have to have faith that you may not reach that ultimate dream you had, mm -hmm. but you have to have faith that this whole process that's causing you to be so tired and to hurt in so many places, physically or psychologically, that it all means something. 
Jamal, if you had one piece of advice to give to young people, what would it be? If I was talking to my children, if they asked me my opinion, <laughs> I would suggest that to learn how to deal with failure. I think it has a lot to do with being open to learning and that because you fail at something doesn't mean you're a failure. Yeah, you may have failed. You didn't achieve what you wanted to, but it doesn't mean you're a failure. Maybe you're in the wrong thing or you need to regroup and rethink what you're doing. Or, But as an overall piece of advice uh, to any young people that would listen out there, that's what I would tell them. That's exactly what I would do.